guys, this is Norm Strauss. Uh, I am a singer-songwriter from Kelowna, British Columbia. And I hold in my hands a very special guitar uh, made by Duncan Africa by Jay Duncan. And uh, this guitar uh, I've had now for over three years and has pretty much been uh, my, my real workhorse guitar. I've done a lot of touring with it and a lot of recording with it. Really is the best acoustic guitar that I've ever owned. One of the things that's always amazed me about this guitar is, is the stability of the guitar. Uh, really have marveled many times uh, about uh, when I'm on tour, you know, when I finish a gig in one place and go to the next and open up the case and take it out and it's usually in tune, which is an amazing thing. I've never had a guitar that was able to be so stable and, and hold its tuning and, and it rarely goes out of tune even during the course of the concert. And uh, it's got a cedar top and uh, a one-piece uh, mahogany neck on it. Uh, it's got the uh, East Indian rosewood back and sides. And because I'm a fingerstyle player, I really have always kind of gravitated towards the cedar top guitars because they seem to have the right, the soundboard seems to have the right kind of tones and overtones for my style of playing, especially when it's coupled with the Indian rosewood uh, back and sides. A lot of people have commented on how uh, it sounds almost like, the, like it has reverb built into the guitar or something, and I think it's because of the, the longer uh, sustain that comes from the combination of these two woods. Uh, and also it has uh, the ebony um, fretboard and uh, pins and saddle. And uh, one of the things I like about this guitar is also its versatility. It's able to play, uh, it's also really this, it will sound good uh, when I'm doing real kind of biting notes like I just played in the blues sort of genre. It's able to hold those kinds of notes really well without sounding harsh or without being rumbly on the bottom end. And also if, I'm, if I have to play with a lighter touch, this kind of... It's able to, to, to not sound harsh those notes shine with a lot of uh, balance throughout the notes and also if I if I need to play in the upper positions on the neck sometimes uh, you know I'll play in, in these positions up here and those top notes really shimmer and shine the way they're supposed to be it really comes through when you're recording Yeah, so I would really, uh, I've had quite a few times during my concerts, people have commented on the sound of this guitar, and several people have tried to buy it from me, actually. Uh, so I'm always happy to, uh, to recommend them to Jay's uh, website at duncanafrica.com. So I highly recommend the project. I really believe in what Jay's doing. I highly uh, recommend these guitars if you're looking for a high-end, uh, fine instrument. Uh, if you really have a discerning ear, particularly if you're a fingerstyle player, um, this, with the cedar top, is, uh, uh, this kind of style, uh, the, Sela, the Sela model, is something that I would really highly recommend. Thank you very much. Alright, let me see that.